What is going on investors back again time to give you another update on my swing trade portfolio again if you're new to this series I'll put a link to the first video in the description below I want to thank everybody for leaving a comment and subscribing and encourage me to do more of these these are kind of fun while we're in between kind of earning season here it's kind of fun to come in here and play around now I started this portfolio with a thousand dollars I currently have about a thousand dollars and one thousand eighty dollars so I'm up about, I guess that's about 8% in this portfolio already. My positions right now are in Rocket Mortgage. So this one's up a nice 20% since we made our trade on that one. We also have Intel, that's up 7%. So two really nice trades there. And then finally, I opened a position today into Cisco System. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I saw with these. I also might be closing out a position today. So I wanna talk about all of that. So there's the background on on this. This is just a thousand dollar portfolio. What we're doing is we're just doing what I, what most people refer to as swing trades. You see a setup and then you trade them over a couple days. You're looking for at least a couple days, maybe a week or two. Um, but you know, day trading is usually a shorter time frame. Here we're using a little bit larger time frame. The technicals I'm using is a MACD indicator. And in short, what happens is, is when stocks lose momentum, MACD starts to bottom out. And typically, a good time to buy is when the MACD crosses into the positive. And that's exactly what I did with here with Intel. I bought this stock right when this MACD crossed into the positive. Now, I like to couple it with the RSI indicator as well. That also showed that this stock was oversold. And as MACD was crossing into the positive, well, RSI was already positive, but usually I like to see it trend even more positive. And that's exactly what has happened. So the MACD MACD has gone positive and it's trended upwards and the RSI has trended upwards and also the stock has trended upwards as well. Now, one thing that I want to bring you to is with this trade, my idea is this candle here. What happened was is Intel was moving along and then they reported earnings and the stock gap down right onto this candle. And we see heavy volume here. So I actually think it's going to be hard for Intel to push up over this candle because there's going to be a lot of sellers that got just got back to even or make a small profit that will probably get out of the stock as we approach this. So I also see what could be the formation of a little bit of a cup here, which would mean this stock might transverse sideways here until maybe resuming an uptrend, maybe going down. So what I'm going to do with Intel is I'm long seven shares of this stock. I'm up about $24, almost $25 in profit on this. I have seven shares. I think I'm going to close out about five shares at the end of, towards the end of the trading day today, uh, right around this candle. Again, we're trading right here at this candle. It popped up and then it got rejected. I think the stock is likely to stall out at this point, at least on this swing trade that I am doing. And I like to lock in profits with these swing trades. Again, this is not a buy and hold portfolio. That's a completely different strategy. This is not a, a day trading portfolio. Again, that's another strategy. This is a swing trade. I've made my profit. The stock did exactly what I thought it was. The RSI is now approaching what I would call a resistance level. Notice the RSI is here. It peaked out here. It peaked out right in the same range here. It's peaked out here. It's peaked out here. And then what happens? The RSI goes down and typically the stock trades down as well. That's actually what I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating the MACD to peak out here and then start to go down. I would anticipate actually Intel trades sideways here. And then maybe we've get this cup and handle formation. And then we get back into this stock actually in a few weeks time. So this is a, this is why I love trading stocks occasionally is because, uh, you know, you get, you see these setups, you take some profit, you let it play out, and then maybe you come back in and you monitor it as things go forward. So that's what I see with Intel. Now, Rocket Mortgage, this is an interesting one. Rocket Mortgage actually reports earnings after the bell today. And you might say, well, it's a little bit uh, risky holding a swing trade into earnings. And I 100% agree with you. In fact, a rule on this portfolio would be, I don't want to hold any of these stocks into earnings because we saw what happened to Intel. If you held Intel into earnings, it gapped down. And I'll talk about Cisco in a minute. The same thing. They reported earnings, the stock gapped down. But the unique thing about Rocket Mortgage is, is they pre-announced their earnings that they're going to be announcing today. So 
technically the market now already knows this. Now, I don't know how retail investors might react. I don't know how the general public might react, but you know, Rocket Mortgage has already announced their earnings. Now, they could have some negative guidance. They could have some negative news. So I'm taking a little bit of a risk there. Normally, I would have just closed this position out today because they are reporting earnings today. But because they pre-announced, I think I'm going to hold on to this one. This also was a cup and handle formation, I believe, or kind of a minor one, and it broke out. And typically, I like to see this thing run a little bit because this has the potential to keep moving higher out of this kind of formation. Now, what I did is I put in a stop loss, or in this case, maybe a stop gain, because I bought shares down here in the $27, $28 range, and I'm going to put a stop up at $30.75. Because if this stock breaks down below these this level, I think the odds of it continuing to slide down back to where I bought it are rather high. So I'll lock in some gains if for some reason this stock gaps down or sells off in the after hours or tomorrow. But what I'm actually anticipating is this stock actually might retest these highs back up here at 34, maybe even go all the way up to 35. We'll see what happens with this one. But I'm going to let this one run because it's a formation I like, and I'm going to let this one run. I also see our MACD just peeking over, RSI is just peeking over. I do want to close this trade out at some point, but I think I'm going to be able to lock in some profit here and uh, do pretty well with Rocket Mortgage. But because I'm on a 60-minute time frame here, it's a little bit different. If we were to send this over to a daily chart, we still see, look, this MACD is still going up. So there's still a possibility I think this one can continue to run. I could be getting a little greedy here, but I do have this stop loss in here that will lock in some gains. Now, the exciting news is I opened up a new position in Cisco. The reason why I liked Cisco, it looked identical to Intel. So Intel made this big gap down, looped around, MACD bottomed out, RSI bottomed out, and then once it turned positive, that's where I made my initial position. And look, it's worked out pretty well. I think I'm up about six or seven percent in this one. So with Cisco, I saw the same thing. The stock gap down, MACD bottomed out. I waited, I waited, I waited. Now MACD, look, it's turning positive. Take a look at RSI. It's turned positive. I think we have a pretty good setup. Now, none of this is guaranteed. We are just plain odds here. You know, it's like uh, it's like anything. You know, nothing is guaranteed, but the odds are actually in our favor for this to work. I think this stock could go from where it's at right now at about 42.20, 42.30. I think we could come back to the top of this candle, just like Intel. That's at the 43, almost $44 range. Now, I did put a stop loss on this one. One at 41.45, meaning we can lose about a dollar, a little less than a dollar on these shares. Again, I only have two because, again, this is a thousand dollar portfolio. I have a thousand eighty one, but I only have two hundred ninety seven dollars in cash. I might add to Cisco as we move towards the end of the day because I'll likely close this Intel position out. And I might add a little bit more to Cisco. So there's an update on this portfolio. A lot of you asking uh, for maybe a Twitter account or an email list. I will work on that in the next couple weeks. And my next video, I'll have a way to where maybe I telegraph these trades and these positions before I even make a video. I'm not going to charge for any of this. I'm never going to charge for any of this. This is just uh, entertainment purposes only. I should stress that. This is just what I am doing with my own money. I encourage you to do your own research and your own due diligence before you make any trades or do anything in the stock market. Don't take a YouTuber's advice. I am just showing you how my trades are going. And by the looks of things, things are actually going really well. Again, we're up 20% in Rocket Mortgage. Intel, we're up seven and a third percent. And Cisco, we just opened today. I'm hoping that is towards a bottom and we trend upwards just like we did with Intel. There we go. There's my swing trade portfolio. Those of you that love fundamental analysis, we're not going anywhere. We're going to keep doing more and more in that and real estate videos as well going forward. Thanks for everybody that has subscribed and tuned in. We'll be back again soon. Good luck with your investments.